Today I'm going to be doing a review of the 2012 Mustang Convertible. It's my favorite summer cruiser. I'm excited about this test drive. Let's go. Okay, so let's talk about obviously what's most important, the driving experience. Now I'm gonna do two versions of this review, one with the top up, one with the top down. Believe it or not, different driving dynamics in each version. Now with the top up, a lot of people complain about rag tops, a lot of wind noise, a lot of road noise. You know, Ford Mustangs are one of my favorite cars. The convertible version, Ford's been making them for years and they do a great job. The material that's used for this rag top is, is very taut. It, it's a cloth, but it has sort of like a vinyl feel to it. And it does a great job of knocking down wind noise. You really don't, I mean, there obviously is gonna be more wind noise than there would be in a hard top, but I don't think it's greatly discernible. And I don't think it really takes away from the experience. This, this is a functional, in my opinion, a functional everyday car. Most convertibles, when you drop the top, the car comes to life because really the car is designed with the convertible uh, version in mind more so. So I'll be interested to see what this car or how it responds once we drop the top. But at first blush, the driving experience is very nice. I love the way this handles. It's got a, a tight suspension, tight steering. It's fun to drive. It's got lots of power and lots of pep. And it's really a joy to drive with the top up. As I said, functional, everyday, great car to drive. Not something that I dread having the top up. So let's take a look at how the car responds when the top goes down. Pull over here. Takes all of about 25 seconds. Now, in my opinion, there's not a tremendous difference between the way this car handles with the top up and the top down. And I like that. If you're gonna buy this car, you're gonna use it every day, you want it to be a comfortable ride, top up, top down. This is my absolute favorite convertible, and there are a few reasons. One, it's got a large enough back seat that you really can bring four adults, and four people can be comfortable and enjoy the top down and you know, cruising down the highway. Two, it's got a regular size trunk. When I say regular, I mean you can put suitcases in the trunk. Average guy, average bag. It's got a much larger trunk than many of the convertibles out there. Three, it handles really well. It's nimble, it's fun to drive, it's got pep. And last but not least, I mean it does have the wow factor. I mean, people still look up at Mustangs and say, wow, look at that, you know? There's tons of little boys and little girls all across America that want a muscle car. And this car has that iconic muscle oomph that really, you know, it really excites people. It, it, it captures the imagination. I really enjoy driving this Mustang. I like what Ford has done with it. They've kept it alive. They've kept it up to date, and I'm excited to see what's next. Let's talk about the interior of the Mustang. You know, everything is very simple, very minimalist approach, and I think, for the most part, there's ducks. There's ducks in my review. Stopping for the ducks. From an ergonomic standpoint, things are where they should be. The layout, I think, is good. It's a nice, masculine look. It's got some graphite kind of tones for 2012. And all the materials, again, are very good quality, soft to the touch, and very pleasing in a quiet, simple way. So there you have it. Another honest auto review from an average guy. If you're in the market for a convertible that you can drive every day, you have to put Ford on your list to go test. And I'll see you next time. Stuck at a red light. I have no idea where the hell I am.